According to analysts, 2012 should have been quite a difficult year for the industries, but not for those people who were working day and night to create a resource that would provide life and prosperity to many people in the nearest half century. The construction of the Ustyavinsky mine is on fast forward. Of course, as in any project, there are some difficulties, especially when the project is implemented in a complex hydrogeological environment. But the team of Daumann Hanyo Shakrastori is able to cope with any difficulties. Our specific feature is working in complex hydrogeological environments. Of course, this project is technically complex. There are solutions that make it complicated, but we cannot say that it is something exceptional. The only thing that makes this project different is the arrangement of both shafts. Cast iron tubing from the bottom to the top. Tubing lining in Germany. This method has outlived its usefulness and is not applied, but in Canada, for example, where we are currently implementing a project, we examine the possibility of cast iron tubing from the bottom to the top. At the moment, the construction of headgear foundation in the cage shaft is close to completion. We also finished building a freeze cellar aimed at further soil freezing. This process was quite labor consuming. The works are very intensive. We spent much effort, time, and materials. Headgear foundation is the basement which serves as the support of the future headgear. A wall and a plate of the freeze cellar will serve, so to say, as protective structure for future freeze holes during shaft sinking. Dalman Hanyol Shock Destroy team started construction of the base plate for future lifting equipment. We also partly finished filling of the pit. At the site, we are currently installing reinforcement cage for the hoist house footing for the second shaft. Well, here we will install lifting equipment aimed at lifting, lowering goods, people, equipment to the shaft in the process of shaft sinking. Afterwards, during the operating period, it will serve to hoist people, equipment, materials, and all kinds of goods into the mine. The first pit is now equipped with drilling rig which doubled the speed of drilling. This situation at the first pit will remain unchanged until its spring of 2013. Very soon the team of Daniel Hanyol Stroy is having a housewarming. They will move to a new staff amenities building. At the moment we have already erected a building frame. Now we are making interior decoration. According to the matrix of responsibilities of Daman Hanyol Shock Destroy and Ural Kali, by the end of November we should get a power supply, water supply and sewer lines. The harsh Ural winter is not an obstacle for the construction of the Ustyavinsky mine. To avoid problems and project realization caused by snow, wind and cold, 
The company's staff has built special constructions within which the work goes on. As you can see, here we are in a so-called big warm house. A lot of manpower was necessary to build the whole thing and to concrete everything in normal conditions. Outside the temperature is about 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Inside it is maintained at 5 to 8 degrees. At the pit number one, there are no global changes. Drilling of freeze holes never stopped there. As for the pit number two, it has seen great changes. The construction we built was backfilled. We have constructed a puddle trench around the bed of the pit to prevent closure of siltstone layers during the operating period when the precipitation occurs. We didn't have headgear foundation subsidence of the second shaft. At the moment, we construct foundations of the second shaft head frame. These are hoist foundations and foundations for sinking winches. And today, we can see concreting of foundations for sinking winches and stage winches. Moreover, we begin building a compressor plant at the site. We mounted the understructure for energy container and ES-14. We are also building a foundation for a refrigerating plant. The company plans to equip the second pit with a fully constructed drilling platform, as well as to finish a compressor station by the end of 2012. In the beginning of 2013, we plan to continue construction of the refrigerating plant. We shall start building a temporary workshop with a tubing stock, which will be also situated at the second shaft. We shall also install open storage for gas cylinders and a number of local transform foundations for transformer substations. It is desirable to finish works by the end of April, well, at least by the middle of April. That is why we have a very large amount of work scheduled for the winter period. We shall build compressor air pipe bridge and frost lines. So these are the plans of Delman Hanyo Shock Destroy for a new year of 2013.